everyone, this is Marcy from Dragonfly Avenue. Um, today I am going to go over how to change the background color or change it to a background image on the membership join now page slash access denied page. Um, so if you are need a square space or are setting up member areas, um, you probably have noticed that when you try to um, go to the join now page you are really going to an access denied screen so when people are going to log in or sign up for your membership you get a page like this sometimes there's a pop-up etc um, kind of there's different designs based on the template that you choose um, but you've also probably noticed that you can't really change the background. Um, the only way you can change this background color is if you change the site-wide settings, which sometimes we don't want. We just want to customize this. Um, so I'm going to show you how to change this with a little bit of code. And we've got options for either a background color or a... Uh, what's it called? A image. Um, one thing I will say to keep in mind, if you have a shop, this will also affect your, like this code is going to affect your cart slash checkout page. So if you have a shop, keep that in mind and make sure you are choosing a color or an image that works well on both uh, pages. Um, but yeah. Okay. So from here, we have the access denied screen. We are gonna, like all the text for this, you can customize and change here. Um, now you're gonna go to custom CSS. And on my, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, the code is available on the corresponding blog post. But you are going to type this in. So it's gonna be dot, System dash page open bracket background color. Um, this color right here can change to whatever hex code, or you can type in like white, etc. Um, whatever you want. So um, then you go to save, and we can see the change. Let's go back to access denied, and now it's this dark blue background color. Now. Um, I'm still working on some of this other code, but um, for now, <laughs> this is what it is. Um, choose lighter colors uh, or darker colors depending on what it is you need. Now, if you want a background image, we're going to change this to image. Again, this code is all on the website. And so go to manage custom files. I've already uploaded one from Pexels, a free stock photo site, um, but you can add whatever image, um, click it and make sure that it's within um, the uh, parentheses. Oh, what's going on? This worked. There we go. Okay. Um, and now we can go back. This is probably like the worst image to add to this. <laughs> um, but you can see that the image in the background has changed. Um, so yeah, that's how you can change the background color and the image. Let me see if I can add a better image. Okay, I uploaded another image right here. So we'll just remove this, go to manage files, click that one, press save. This is gonna be dark again. Um, whoa, but you can see like the new image. Again, you have to be like a little cautious because it's still somewhat limited and you're not really able to customize like all this stuff until you have a different code. Um, so I would kind of try to play with what you have um, 
but and hopefully this helps a little bit. Um, I know it's a little annoying that you can't change it in a much easier way without affecting the whole site. Um, but hopefully this helps. Um, and let me, uh, yeah, so, um, and actually I was just figured I'd quickly try something out. So um, if you want to change the color of the text, so I'm gonna do the inspect tool real quick. Um, and I already changed this, so I'll add the, um, code to the website as, to my blog post as well. Um, just go and see what this is. So this is P, this was uh, H2, and you can see that like this heading code right here. So it's P um, and whatever the button is. I'll just stick with the colors for now. Okay, so we went back to this, back to that you should love that you can't see it. Oh, so great. Anyway, so the code for the color, for the font color, um, and I will add this again to the, uh, to the uh, blog post. I'm sorry. So it's going to be dot system dash page. Uh, mine uh, was H2. Um, I would maybe use the inspect tool just to double check that. Um, and I believe it was P and then uh, open bracket color white or whatever hex code you want here uh, Exclamation point important Possibly code bracket. Okay, so all this code will be on there. Let me see. I think I got the I think it was P Okay, yep um, So that's what it's gonna be on here again double check if you have a shop that like whatever you're doing isn't affecting it or if it is affecting it that it's still like everything on those cart pages and checkout pages still looks good and can still function well for your visitor um, if you just have a membership then you are all set um, and I really hope this helps um, again code is on the blog post uh, there should be a link below uh, follow for more all of the fun stuff so uh, again, thank you so much. I uh, hope this helps. Thanks.